to another DOS adventure game. I'm gonna turn this down because that's gonna drive me insane. Today we're going to be playing a game called Calixto Island, so it's kind of a tropical thing, so I set up a tropical video game like mix in the background, so we actually have music, because again, this game has no music, so. The goal of this game is to find a treasure. Please 
historic when I saw what you were doing. I thought the mission for the people were. Instead, I told her, I was just something out of the studio typing. Okay, cool. Some guys are always random, so I'm always sitting with progress. Oh, that's not the problem. Okay, let's begin. Alright, let's type in score first. Zero one treasure score, zero moves games. Alright, let's look at the desk. Sorry, I can't do that. What? Open the desk. Okay, it's locked. It's locked. Okay, thanks. Unlock desk. I have no key. Okay, let's open the rug. Open the rug. It looks interesting, alright. Uh, look at the table. Hey, there's a message here. Uh, get message. Let's just read this. Professor knows she gives some clues. Okay, now let's drop the ass and get money anymore. Alright. Uh, look at the stairs. I see nothing special. Okay. Those stairs. I'm in a dimly lit attic. I'm just going to stop. I see an unlit flashlight, one wooden chest, and lots of pastor jewelry on the of stairs. Flashlight, we probably need it for something. Rocky Bruce in this game. Oh wait, wrong, wrong company. Look at the chest. It's closed. Uh, open the chest again. It's open. Awesome. Alright, let's open the chest. I'm not a pair of spectacles. Alright, get spectacles there. Got him. Reading glasses. Alright. Look in chest again. There's an instruction manual in here. Okay, get the manual. Got it. Look in chest. Wait, look in chest again. It's empty. Okay, oh, there's nothing on there. Uh. Teleport operating manual. Instructions. Conversion says it can use the prompts arise. Okay. Look box. I see an old wooden chest and box of costume jewelry. Okay. Uh, look at jewelry. I see nothing special. Oh, well, we should get the jewelry. Spectacles anymore, so drop them. Get rug? There's a trap door underneath it. Ah. Open door. Hey, I found something. Alright, look. I see a roll top desk, an antique table, trap door and floor, a flight of stairs, a ladder leading to a cellar, and a handwritten message of character spectacles. Black. I can't see anything. It's dangerous to move around in the dark. Okay, light flashlight. It's not so dark. Alright, it's lit. Look. Obvious directions up. I see a tire pop, a bucket, and a storage cabinet. Alright, let's look at the pump. I see nothing special. Alright, look at the bucket. I see nothing special. Uh, look at cabinet. There's a mouse trap in it. Okay, cabinet again. Anything else? Hey, I found something. It's concealed switch. Hmm. I guess we should press that. I heard a strange sound. Look. I see a tire pump, a bucket, a mouse trap, a storage cabinet, and a secret passage behind it. Alright, we should go to the passage. I'm in a long, narrow passageway. I'm just stretching towards the south. 
I see a sign. Read sign. It says to light is good, to unlight is wise. Complex machinery and test equipment. I see other people looking at the body, possibly for a hacking boots. Okay, I'm my flashlight. These complex things. The mechanical sign was the speaker says, Please read your map before operating the teleporter. Sure. Look at speaker. I'm not sure I understand these complex things. Drop jewelry and drop the rock. Okay. Okay. And let's drop the rock too. Manual says, I can be energized with the rest of the teleport button. Alright, go lab. Alright, drop the manual. Alright, let's get in. Alright, it's like flashlight. Okay. Okay, you can go past the way. Okay, 
Pig. Our last year, Jones are tough. We're probably together. The teleport of our great side team is a low tone. Okay, press the button. Boom. Okay, get some 
X. Um, drops X, apparently. Just like, I don't know where we're picking up the game, just drop it. Uh, book chest. Instruction manual. I'm not sure why we're dropping the chest. I don't know why we're doing all this crap, but... Yeah, rubber boots. We might do a punish. 
a gun paddles and home. Go to Shaq. Alright, let's trade in the chest. Uh, hit piece. Go 
door. Get bucket the palace.
short stream. Oh, whatever. Japanese robot game tomorrow. Uh, oh, this is nice. Angelus, thank you for the raid. What's going on? Uh, Captain? There we go. Okay. You should play it, Bill Bull. You should play it. Don't don't get scared by the Japanese. It's very linear, ultra linear. It's amazing. You should play it, Bill Bull. It's god tier game. Can't can't bring myself to play Gun Griffin because Hamlet was too good, and, and it looks like they've turned the combat. Well, firstly they've gotten rid of all the sick pixel art and about half of the enemy types, and instead it's just like a very simple quake. It'd still be sick, but with Hamlet existing, can't go back. Anonymous Gifter has gifted a sub to Contra Fib Fibularities. Thank you, Anonymous Gifter, for the gift sub to Contra Fibularities. We will be back to the Legend of the Lost another time. like you're bloody playing Robocop here, stomping around with those sound effects. Much easier this is than Legend of the Lost. Cable will return stronger than ever. <laughs> Have faith. Whoops. our relaxing rejuvenation with El Capitan Trueno. Get ourselves prepared for tomorrow's Japanese mechs. Good. I'm happy now. 
best way to play Hamlet? Oh, I just use Neko Project for PC98, but there's a lot of PC98 emulators you could use. I just like Neko Project the most. Hamlet's so good. Was the resource management a big component of Gun Griffin as well, or whatever the heck it's called? Gr Griffin VX Space Griffin? Was the, was, the, was the resource management still in that game? I'm curious to know. We've got like the limited amount of heals, the limited amount of everything, and it's kind of like a horror survival game. Only one. So it is limited then. Because there is a hard mode, at least in Hamlet. I really want to play the hard mode because the hard mode would make it so freaking crazy with like having to not use too many heals. Um, it's an amazing game. Those freaking pixel art light gun battle scenes. Infinitely better than Space Griffin's stupid bloody quake light shit with like most of the enemy types missing. Anyway, that was the Legend of the Lost and, and in 80 Days Around the World. 80 Days Around the World was sick, uh, but the Commodore 64 version looks like it's a bloody masterpiece, so we're going to have to play that again with the Commodore 64 version. As cool as the bloody Amiga version was, that Commodore 64 version, holy crap, that looked like top tier C64. Legend of the Lost was ultra sick until we got caught in infinite maze of gauntlet maze. But I kind of still like it. I just, it's just so weird that the game has such a tremendous impact with so much variety.